Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is a good game. This is a good game. <laughs> okay. <laughs>but yeah if i put in like six hours a day for the next two weeks i could definitely get top 100 legend but i'm not too concerned about that uh devout pupils and copying those that's how we win yeah i can see through your headphones i always knew i had x-ray vision like superman <laughs> see hooray stream is on yo what's up sloth I was done with the kitchen and office duty today. Time to chill. Hey, yo. Sounds like a fun time to me now. And yeah, what's up, Scott Hump? Yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe we do need to try like just Rocketeer. All right, so what's, what's the combo for Rocketeer? If we were to try that, what is the combo for Rocketeer? Next turn, you just get a pop off here. Yeah, Evolve Shaman is so annoying. Probably doesn't play this right. I mean, every Shaman plays Evolve, though. You just have to expect it. You just have to expect it. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I kind of want to like embalming ritual on something, but I kind of want to do it on the blood mage Salinos. Is that weird? Like this is going to live no matter what, but I kind of want the extra card draw. All right, hit the insight. Kind of need to be super for the next five to 30 minutes. <laughs> we'll try, we'll try. Yeah, so definitely is Evolve Shaman here. So they're gonna be going off on their Evolve shenanigans next turn. Oh, the spell damage. Oh, baby. Oh, this energy. <laughs> All right, let's just draw some cards here. Let's do it. Draw some cards. Uh, you know, I get, I'd get the internet clout. I could brag about being top 100 legend on uh, Twitter and stuff like that, but then I'd be playing a deck that everybody else is playing. And that's boring. So five damage raise dead oh yeah gotta get that spell damage value in <laughs> all right so they do have the weapon but they're not using it um uh, we discover maybe like a death here if we can discover a death this would be huge oh already the breath of the infinite's already gonna be big though all right, come on, get a death. Well. Well, actually, no, 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 this works, this works. Oh, this actually works. Goes to seven. Ooh. No, I don't think Hypotheos is here. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, this is zero now? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We do this next turn, right? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What was this turn? What was this turn? 
You should man see all the views and then come with the off meta or then come with the off madness. Yeah. It'd be in a like it or not. I thought about it too. It just. Okay, see if we can get a Nazmani Blood Weaver. No, oh, okay. Oh, get that, <laughs> get that spell damage value in. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do they ever get through this, devout people? How do they ever get through there? We just, we just gotta refill our entire hand with this. But yeah, so like in two weeks time, like I could definitely reach top 100 legend, but I could make what 10 YouTube videos or 10 different decks in that time. Put my decks on Hearthpwn. Whereas like some people, they only stream. That's like all they do. Think about like Jay Alexander. Think about like, I don't know, like, uh, like Regis, Dexter. Those guys are content creators. You never really see them in top 100 legend, but they're very successful at what they do. You know, there's like Jean Bray, Jay Alexander. Those guys are just streamers. Those guys just play just to get the high ranks. Yo, Draco, what's up, Draco? How you doing? How you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is a good game. This is a good game. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I actually don't want them to draw any cards here to try and draw into like a revolve. Is this lethal though? This is what, 10, 14, 15. Oh, we're three off. We are three off. Yeah, I do want to kill this though. Just to make sure they don't draw into Revolve. Okay, we go face with that. Could maybe try killing one other thing off, but let's see here, they say trade, trade. Trade, trade, trade. Like if just one of these dudes sticks around, we have lethal. Mm, I might need to get through like a taunt though. It is your time. Maybe we do keep these guys around. So Scott Hump, so the combo is Rocketeer, Embalming, a okay, Rune, Shadowy Figure, okay. That is the 30 HP? Okay. And then you'd have to kill it all off with like another breath, right? The Rocketeer, Shadowy Figure, that does seven damage. And then you breath, killing your two dudes. So then you get six more dudes. That's 37 damage, I believe, right? Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Maybe go for something like that. All right, we got him. We got him. Aggro priest, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's more of like a combo priest, but yeah, it feels like aggro. Okay, against a rogue. Um, I actually do kind of like this. Embalming ritual is going to be really nice if we can find like an early Sethic. So I think we keep the embalming. Uh, casting an embalming, maybe on like a disciple. Also does discount or devote pupil, so I just like embalming ritual. If we can cast it on like an early loot hoarder, we get an extra card draw from it as well. So keep it, we'll keep it. They don't have the coin, so I wonder if they're just gonna go ahead and just dagger right here. We'll probably have to keep this nameless one for like a questing or an Edwin. So I'm glad we got it. Nice, nice. There's the pupil. You can discount the Psyche split by two with both of these uh, palm readings. I don't think they run, unless they're running the, the secret package, I don't think they run like, any saps or whatnot. We'll see if they're running the secrets or not. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see ya. Ooh, breath is gonna be big. Breath is gonna be big for next turn. We do need to start casting some uh, spells on our own dudes to discount this pupil though. 
Great, but thanks for stopping by this morning. Hey, no problem, no problem. Was my pleasure. Oh, it was very entertaining. Idol? Idol could be pretty good. Like, how do they deal with a 10 10? I think I actually take it. <laughs> and then, yeah, just breath all this away. So this does have Rush and Reborn, right? So that we could silence it, get the Rush Reborn. Okay. I kind of like that. So we get a 4-4 four, four Rush Reborn then. Give me a quest. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. we want to we wanna silence that for sure. That'll be a good silence target. They might also like shadow, like once we silence it, they might shadow step it. That's fine though, we got a soul mirror. Yeah, we got a soul mirror if they come out with any other, any other one. An apostolic, um, if you want a deck code for something, just type in the, the class that you want. So just type in exclamation point and then whatever class. You should get whatever deck I've been working on for that class. Come closer. Yeah, what do they shadow step? Oh, the restless mummy. Nice, okay. Oh, yeah. Too bad we can't, like, Psyche split this or, like, Grave Run it. Oh, um, man. Actually, we're just, like, one turn away from doing that. Oh, man. I can't believe we're just, like, one turn away. Maybe. Maybe we could have just, like, Soul Mirrored right there. Give me a quest. Yeah, and just, like, wait for another uh, questing. Yeah. I mean, so they kill all, uh, they come like questing here with the Restless Mummy and then Dagger the 2-1 Reborn dude that comes out, right? I mean, they, they have to kill it. Otherwise, I just, I just pop off here with the Psyche Split. Yo, Apostle like Truth. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, okay, they're just going to kill it the old-fashioned way, huh? All right, all right, all right, all right. This is looking like a good Soul Mirror now. I know they just dagger this down. Unfortunately, we don't have a good way of killing the Whirl Kick, though, so they still get value from this, which is pretty annoying. Ah, uh, could you just imagine if we, like, if we had Psyche splitted this, dude? Ah, oh, that would have been so good. So they get a 1-1 one, one, one Thief and a 1-1 one, one, uh, Whirl Kick. That's fine. That's fine. It's actually not fine though, because I I really do need to kill this world kick here. That's that's their or that's their value generator. They could actually outvalue me with this world kick on the board. No. You stole the Liberum deck from me. I will expose you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you're right, Neza. My bad, my bad. Too late though. I already got the credit for it. Ha <laughs> ha. I believe it doesn't count as reborn anymore. I think it does because it copies the text of it, not like what's actually physically active anymore. So the the text of the second copy still says rush and reborn. So it does, I believe. It does still get it. All right, we could always go Kronks and, or uh, Galakrond and the Kronks next turn. Jeez, they have just so much. Yeah, I think we go for that play. Um, especially with Kronks in hand here. I think I just get the Galakrond on, online. Oh man, I was really hoping to kill this Whirl Kick. <laughs> Their hand is full, full of combo cards. Like if they get like uh, head cracks and stuff. That'd be bad.
Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to Kronks here. That's just too much damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. Ah! Okay. They shouldn't be able to deal with... I think we go Kronks, I think we're dead. Ooh, uh, yeah, random eviscerate. That's the counter spell. No. Here we go. You can just grave ruin it right now. If they don't kill it, then I psyche split it. If they do, like, if if they if they are able to to kill it, you can always like play this devote people psyche split another thing. It's gonna be pretty tough to get through. Can't get over how cool it is that you invented the LeBroom deck. Pro players use it in the world champion and glory use it. Yeah, it is really cool. It is really cool. I still can't get over it either. It's still pretty surreal. Who knows, maybe this expansion will come up with another number one deck in the world. <laughs> the tall order, but we can do it. We put all of our brains together. That's this is supposed to be brains. <laughs> Yo, Komic! Yo, what's up, Komic? We got the lucky potato in chat. We can't lose. <laughs> we can't lose. Can't get over how he doesn't have more viewers. Should have tons. Oh, thanks, Crucifix. I appreciate that. Eventually, we'll get there. Honestly, I, I think it's because of our rank. Uh, we meme around it too much. Um... When it comes to viewership on Twitch, one thing I've noticed is like rank is the only thing that matters. Um, you don't you don't have to be playing a good deck, a fun deck, an off meta deck. Just as long as you're a high rank, you'll get a lot of viewers. Um, and just by the nature of what we do, like we experiment a lot, so we're going to be a pretty low rank and legend um, all the time. So it, it, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not too upset about it. We still get that good YouTube content. What if it's plagiarized? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm kind of glad it's it's ambushed. It means it's not plagiarized. I'm okay with it. Just as long as it's not uh, plagiarized. I could have also gotten Sethic there too. Yeah, we just always hit this. All right, how do they deal with these? That's gonna be really difficult. And then we can just go Kronks and like buff these guys up or something. Wait. Uh oh, what do they got? What do they got? What do they got? You can psyche split his minion, you know that, right? Yes, yep, we did that last game. Oh no, not the world kick. Not the world kick. Anything but the world kick. <laughs> they could actually clear both of these dudes with the world kick now. Yeah, just a random eviscerates, random uh, cold bloods. We might have to just Kronks and clear. My goodness. My good gravy. Give me that. Not what I want. Jeez. <laughs> they almost did clear both of those. That's insane. And they filled up their hands. Ah. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just put a lot of stats on the board here. I mean, we have value with our hero power, so... We could always, like, shield the Galakron and then Psyche split that. Or, like, if the 8-8 lives, we just Psyche split that. I just really want to put down, like, big taunts, big minions, and then land a Psyche split on something. Yeah, what's up, Danjo? What's up? Priest? No, no, we're playing a fun priest. <laughs> we're not playing no meta priest or anything. Ever see Blue Mountain State? Dude, I love Blue Mountain State. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Dude, that is so funny. I, I used to watch that all the time in college. All the time. Like, there was like this huge theater. Um, so I was in a fraternity, and in our like main dining room area, there's this huge like theater seating 
um, room with a gigantic screen, gigantic TV. So like every weekend, a bunch of us would get together, put on some Blue Mountain States. I mean, it's kind of the perfect show to watch if you're in a fraternity, right? <laughs> it was it was pretty epic. Dude, are they gonna be able to clear all of this? Get out of here. Okay, cool. I don't really care about this being frozen. Um, I think I actually still, yeah, I, I think I'll still copy it. We can just pop off here with these ethics. I don't really care if it's frozen. I, I just want a big taunt. Give me a one mana cost spell we can target. No, okay. They already played both world kicks. I feel like we can win the value game long term. We do still also have two apotheoses in the deck. So I feel like we got the long game. I just don't want to get scammed by some kind of random um, mage spell here. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. Random mage spells. That's that's one way to beat us here. And yo, eight of hate wants wants me to play a meta deck. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're trading? Oh, why would you do that? Oh, why would you do that? I'm going to put more taunts in the way here. Why, why, why would they do that? It's like... All right, let's just put down a taunt here. Big taunty boy. Yeah. Okay, Light Will could potentially heal us. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, healing our face doesn't really matter, right? The game is going to be won or lost in this next turn. It was really interesting that they eviscerated one of my dudes and not my face. Like, if they eviscerated my face and got me down to one, they have tons of outs. Yeah, SI7. Like, we'd be dead right now if they eviscerated our face. Yeah, we'd be dead by now. They just eviscerated our face. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yep. So they misplayed a little bit there, but we still got the win. So good game. Good game.